In response to those riots in Washington, security was dramatically increased in Springfield. Now we're learning how much it cost. In all, $669,000. Most of that paid for the 250 National Guard members called in to protect the State House. Illinois also rented $75,000 worth of heavy armored trucks and equipment from the federal government. The rest went to contractors to board up doors and windows. The FBI warned about the potential for heavily armed protests at all 50 state capitals. But some critics say the deployment was nothing more than a PR stunt. You know, we've never had a, a, a Trump protest or gathering in Springfield that's done anything but be peaceful and pick up after itself. I don't believe that it represents anything going on in Illinois other than a political agenda. Illinois State Police say no evidence of a specific threat in Springfield was ever found.